just like it, it kind of reliance or like it, it, it's good to have the, the collaboration with UNESCO, mm -hmm. but I mean like South Africa is not signed any of the conventions. Right. So, this but, okay. well, yeah, what does that mean then for for I, like how much can we actually just create our own and it is. our own lists yeah. and just use them as a kind of uh, yeah. Yeah, kind of we will not be in any way an organization under UNESCO. Uh, CAA is registered as an NGO uh, with UNESCO. But that doesn't mean that UNESCO will be above you, if you know what I'm going to say. So uh, this study group, this study group, this committee will focus on intangible cultural heritage uh, in relation with UNESCO, but not necessarily to. So if you write about, if your country does not ratify the convention, that is okay. You can still write, publish, do research, uh, and be part of the of the committee <coughs> as well. Uh, but every year you will, you may have you may get the possibility to go on a, a UNESCO meeting and then reflect on the research you do, which is cultural heritage as well, and then promote for remote. Yes. And also something important that happened in the meeting, Egan was saying that this is also an important group that can create collaboration because there are many countries here that they are going very active in, in, in the convention and in the lease, in the process, like Colombia is one of them and it has a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. And it could be also an exchange to see what can happen with those countries that are not yet, but if maybe they want to be. And well, yeah, that's, oh, but those are the discussions that it could be yeah. like part of this kind of committee also. Like, uh, because we are very diverse in countries, in topics, and we can create this net. Uh, yeah. So if you need more info, talk to me and Sahaya. We will email all of you. We will Facebook do all, all the necessary communication. We want soon to have elections uh, and to get this going. It did. Yes, you mentioned the relation with EGID in last year you discussed about some kind of mentorship or consulting. Uh, they had, I mean, they are not part of the of CAA, or are they? They're honorary members. Honorary members. So, yes, they are here for us uh, in any, uh, I mean, maybe you and Laszlo are the people in UNESCO that are willing to lobby, are willing to promote this organization, help us get jobs, help us get positions, uh, visibility, we need to use them, they need to use us. So we will be in direct co collaboration with them, but this is a student alumni uh, uh, organic committee that will focus on the SSH. Good. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Um, yes, I want to... Yes, uh, between uh, the, this operating committee and the, the alumni um, leadership, I don't know whether this uh, we, we can get a goal from the... From the from the before the elections, because then we would uh, continue with, that, with, with everything that we plan to do under this uh, work operating committee. I, think I don't know when. The proposal. Okay. Yeah. We have the proposal that Sahaya read out, which mm -hmm. had been uh, just feedback, we're checking a couple of emails with feedback on how to form the text. It will be circulated for you to see, but we have made our main just clarification with the board, and we're not here to make things complicated. So if there's three or more people that want to do some parameters, you know, go for it as long as we have a read before. So that is already, the green light is there anyway. We just have to, as long as there is conversation, the emailing will keep going. Yeah. It's already there. Yeah. So yeah. Do we have a form that we have, yeah. like, operating company form? Just like some contact information, like main variables, how are you going to schedule your meetings uh, in the working committee, what is your aim for this year, like two pages maximum. There is, there is a, a hard way to find a, a, a place on a website somewhere else to have these general documents for everyone to have a look at and what it's about, to see if they want to get into that. We're using Trello for the moment, which seems okay, we can add more general groups there, just with general documents. You can read the statutes that we have all signed for the registration, uh, have it form a group, some things, until we can find a way to do it through the website and we can have a secret part of the website where we can forum that we can exchange. So that's... Uh, <coughs> yes. 
kind of a question of your education or a suggestion or something. The next conference, uh, next our next conference, I wonder whether these cooperating committees could present something or if, we, if uh, the conference could be uh, aligned in the way that we can, for example, for people who are part of the cooperating committee who have written some papers.